Hey guys, so I literally just got back from being in both Tokyo, Japan, as well as Seoul and Busan, South Korea for about two weeks. And let me tell you, it was life-changing. That was actually my first ever time being abroad and I had a ball. The food was great, the culture, the people, the societies in general, how they functioned in comparison to where I live. The reason why I was out there in both countries was through a brand partnership that I have with World Strides. So basically, if you're not already familiar, they are an education, travel, and experiential learning company and they have like a 55 plus year reputation and not only are they in those two countries that I went to, but also very other countries and continents as well. Basically my role as a content creator was to experience a lot of the excursions that students enrolled in their programs also get to experience. So we did some of everything. I even went surfing, we went to various marketplaces, we went to the palace in Korea which was actually my favorite part by far because I watch a lot of Korean dramas especially the historical ones so being at the palace felt very special for me and we also coincidentally just so happened to be there just in time for cherry blossom season so sakura in japan and it was breathtaking i almost cried actually but yeah there was so much that went on so let me just go in and talk all about it now i also wanted to include in this video some of the interviews that i did with the students in both Japan and in South Korea. I guess that's just the journalist in me because I do have a background in that. That's what I studied during undergrad, broadcast journalism. So yeah, let's just go ahead and roll the clip. I think my favorite thing so far about studying abroad is stepping outside of my comfort zone for sure. The opportunity to experience something completely different, something completely foreign while still being a student. I like the teen activities that we get to do. Like the first time I went clubbing was fun. You make a lot of friends. What advice would you have for students wanting to study abroad? It's okay to be shy, but don't be shy. It's the best advice I can give you. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be scared to take your advice from others and ask people for I think as long as you're positive about it and willing to conversate and talk to other people, you kind of realize the world is a lot bigger than what you think it is. If you want to study abroad anywhere, I would do an introductory like cultural course. If there's a language barrier, maybe learn a little bit of conversational, whatever the language is. I'm a double major studying accounting and MIS. And my favorite thing about being at Korea University would have to be the people, just because the culture here is so special. I'm a junior studying computer science. And I would say my favorite thing about being an international student here is just being able to like, experience the culture and meet new friends. Because I've only been here for like a month and a half. But I've already met so many like friends that I consider really close. My name is Sheridan Agnew and I'm an international business major here at Japan. My name is Brianna and I'm studying Japanese language here. My name is Rick. I'm studying business slash information systems. Hi, I'm Meg Avery. I am studying Japanese. I'm George Whiting. I'm hoping to study more arts and fashion while I'm here. My name is Kanu Gavin. I'm here to take some basic gen ed classes. I would have to say my favorite part would definitely be going around on these excursions and exploring because I get to see a new angle of Japan and the culture that I've never seen before and I love it so much. It's so walkable and I get to enjoy a lot of different sites and be able to walk between the two. The best thing so far it's definitely the seasons, like the fall has the moji, uh, winter and spring was like snow and in spring is definitely sakura. My favorite part being in Japan right now is getting to wear this beautiful traditional Japanese kimono. It's probably the train system, it's really cheap here and going into Tokyo and Shibuya is really cool. So far in terms of my time here in Japan, I've enjoyed it. For a while I've been able to make some new friends so far connect better with my own personal culture because I am part Japanese. Now I want to talk to you guys about the staff with World Strides. Honestly, I was so impressed by their professionalism for one and two, how good they were with logistics. Everything was just step by step going according to plan. There was only like one or two things that didn't, but the only reason why they didn't was because of weather. Like for example, we were supposed to go to the palace in Seoul, South Korea a bit earlier, but it was going to be raining that day. So we switched that with a different activity and ended up going later. So still got to experience that. And then another thing that ended up being canceled due to the weather 
was going to like the Sky Tower in South Korea, but that was canceled because it was too foggy up there. So it wasn't really, you know, much of a point going if you couldn't really see from the aerial view. And so one of the staff members, he had an alternative plan. So we hopped on the bullet train and went to this really famous library in South Korea. And I always see it on my timeline on social media. It's so, so beautiful. I even have seen it in like maybe one or two Korean dramas I watched in the past. I can't remember which one, but another thing I absolutely loved about the staff with World Strides was how connected they were to the students and how they made sure that everyone felt included. Like when we would have group dinners together with the other students in their program, if there was someone who was like, you know, a bit shy, wasn't really engaging in conversation with the other students, the staff members would go above and beyond of making sure that they felt included in the conversation and all that. And then even like the last couple of days with my experience being in Seoul, my stomach was hurting, I wasn't feeling too well. And one of the staff members, she went to one of the neighborhood markets and got me some medication and a separate staff member he got me some heating packs and I just want to say that I appreciate those two so much for that and then specifically with the staffing in Tokyo Japan so one of the students that we were traveling with she had to use a wheelchair at times and so when we would travel together trying to navigate the bullet trains each time one of the staff members would communicate to one of the conductors saying hey we might need a bit more time for these doors to stay open so we can get her wheelchair on properly they even went out of their way to map out where the elevators were rather than going up the stairs because you know with a wheelchair you can't really go upstairs right it was inspiring for me because i have a brother my older brother there are times of where he has had to be in a wheelchair due to his condition and so by seeing her in japan she actually said that was her third time being in japan so she is not brand new to this at all seeing her experience those countries and saying just great things about it overall and that's actually also the top country my brother wants to go to japan really motivated me and so one of the very first things i did once i got back home to the states was that i told my brother about her and that really motivated him that it's possible for him to to eventually at some point time to go abroad as well. And the reason why I really wanted to highlight the staff that World Strides has in each of the countries that they're located is that with some other study abroad companies, they don't necessarily have that experience, right? So you might pay that company to study abroad at this particular institution, but then you're basically on your own. So if you're wanting to find a study abroad program that has a bit more direction, a bit more leadership and um, people to help you along the way as you're actually there, definitely consider looking into World Strides. Now, I know a lot of people have some hesitations when it comes to determining whether or not they should study abroad, travel abroad, and some of these include like financing it, potential language barriers, diversity and inclusion, accessibility, safety and security, and so forth. However, to address all these things as they relate to World Strides, World Strides has over 55 years of experience with it. So they have so much knowledge and so many resources on how to go about this. Number two, when it comes to language, so I was actually pretty surprised when I got to South Korea just how many people spoke basically fluent English. Like I already knew that the education system in Korea is like top notch and so English has been always something that they really really stress but seeing it firsthand not something I necessarily expected. Additionally the staffing that World Strides has within each of these countries their staff they speak English so if you're worried about like a language barrier with that you don't really have to concern yourself with it and a lot of the signs on public transportation or on the intercom with the bullet trains again they will translate also into English if it doesn't there's apps you can use and as I mentioned earlier when it came down to accessibility specifically my experience being in Japan World Strides goes above and beyond to make sure that all their students are included and of course also accounting for certain diet restrictions you might have and then in terms of diversity i was actually pleasantly surprised by just how many fellow black people black women specifically were in both countries and as you can see from the pictures of these students in both japan and south korea very diverse you got black students you got hispanic students white and so forth so if you are having any sort of hesitation to go to a country because you're feeling as if, oh, I don't think they're going to accept me. Of course, that might exist. Like prejudice, discrimination exists, unfortunately, in every single nation. But one of the things that really helped me with just putting myself out there and 
not having any microaggressions to really get to me was simply saying this, their hate, their problem. It's not your problem, it's not your fault. Now, of course, if you look phenotypically different, uh, you're gonna get a lot of stares, okay? I remember I was at the marketplace in South Korea and like everyone is just like, you know, walking past you, but there was this old guy, this Ajushi, he just stopped dead in his tracks and stared at me for a good 10 seconds and finally walked off. And I was just like, what? <laughs> yeah you might get stares but please 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 try to not have that get to you now in terms of financing traveling abroad study abroad and all that world strides actually offers a fully funded scholarship as well as other financial aid opportunities so definitely check that out on their website if you're interested in any of their programs any of the countries that they have their programs in and then even there's external scholarships you can apply for maybe that's like through your school or through an organization that just so happens to be giving a scholarship for people studying abroad or about to study abroad and additionally some students even fundraise for their study abroad so to raise money for it so yeah there are various ways to go about financing this of course my content is mainly about you know scholarships financial aid and all that so definitely check it out and hopefully it can help you study abroad or travel abroad for cheaper and another thing that i got out of this experience was i have significantly less depression and social anxiety I don't know I guess it has to do with once you see the world and how it exceeds your expectations the things you may feel about yourself feel so small I guess that's it that's why I just feel a lot better mentally physically and everything but as you can see this is yet another example as to why I am now advocating so very much or study abroad, travel abroad, because you come out a better version of yourself. Anywho, that's all for today's video. Make sure you go to my bio link to check out all of what World Strides has to offer. And also follow me on my other socials, such as TikTok and Instagram. And I also created a travel diary, a digital travel diary, uh, detailing my experiences in both countries. So if you want access to that, simply DM me on Instagram with this keyword and I will send you it. It's a PDF free to use, free to reference to if you want to, you know, share with your parent being like, hey, I want to travel abroad. Here's her experience because some people might want to read something as opposed to watching a video, different learning styles, right? But anywho, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.